I'll talk about di uh, diabetes and rice today. First thing a diabetic is told uh, by any doctor in South India especially is to stop eating rice. Uh, it's also uh, common in other uh, states. Uh, in uh, Even in North India, they say rice is bad, so they say you should eat uh, wheat. In a few places, they say uh, wheat is bad, but most of the time, in South or North India also, they say rice is bad for diabetic patients. But uh, we should know that rice is the staple diet for uh, Asian Indians. Entire East, entire South of uh, India, people eat rice for... They have been eating rice for the last uh, uh, some 10,000 years. It's not uh, a, a recent phenomena. People have been eating rice. But there are pockets like in Dakkan Plateau, in some of the areas, people have been eating uh, different cereals, not rice. They have shifted to rice. So, but th th these things happened in uh, the last 100 years. So, in very small pockets of India, people have not been eating rice and they have been eating different uh, cereals and they have shifted to rice. But otherwise, a staple diet in most of the places in India is rice. And it's also easier to grow. It's also easier to um, process and easier to cook. So people have been used to eating rice, cooking rice, making different things with rice. And uh, uh, diabetic is now threatened that by eating rice, he gets a bad complication or control of diabetes is bad. That's not really true. Uh, you, can't, uh, you can't change your dietary habits which you, your, your families have developed over hundreds of years. Suppose for one or two generations or two or three generations you have been eating rice, please continue eating rice. If your uh, forefather, if your grandparents have eaten uh, uh, jawar or uh, something else, you please uh, continue with whatever they have been eating or whatever you have been used to eating in your childhood. So it all depends on from which area you come. If you are from coastal area, from uh, Godavari districts, you better eat rice even if you are a diabetic. If you are from Rail Sima and other places, okay, if you are uh, uh, used to eating ragi and all such uh, cereals, you please continue eating ra uh, ragi. You don't have to shift from ragi to something else. Similarly, if you are from Telangana area and if you are eating something like jawar or uh, whatever you are used to in your childhood or whatever your parents or your grandparents are eating, it's fine. But if you are a rice eating uh, family, if you are from a rice eating family and if you are used to eating rice, please don't shift from rice to any other cereal. That's very important. Don't think that rice is bad. Yes, if by polishing rice you are losing some of the nutrients, that is fine, you are losing some nutrients. Uh, uh, hand pound rice is better, but you can't always get hand pound rice. So you don't have to struggle a lot and uh, take a lot of efforts to go and get hand pound rice and then try to eat uh, hand pound rice. It's fine if you get it. If you don't get it, polished rice is also okay. Similarly, some people were told that you have to eat parboiled rice. Parboiled rice is what you get in uh, Kerala and Ceylon and some of the southeast countries. If you are not used to eating parboiled rice, you don't have to eat parboiled rice. But it is true that uh, more than polished rice, hand pound rice is better. And the parboiled rice is much better than hand pound rice. But it doesn't really mean that you have to eat one of these uh, uh, unpolished rice or, uh, or parboiled rice for uh, making your diabetes better. Please continue eating whatever you are used to, whatever is available, whatever you have access to. That's more important. You can't just go on searching for different uh, types of rice. Uh, nowadays, there are also people who are selling uh, uh, low calorie rice. It's not really true. Rice has got about 70, 80 calories. Sometimes they say there are uh, different varieties of rice which do not cause diabetes or which are good for diabetes. It is not true. There are a lot of diabetic rice brands available in the market. It's not really uh, worth uh, trying all those things. If you want to use it, it you can use it. But there are no really such thing as low calorie rice. Whatever rice you eat, once you boil it, it becomes easily digestible. And whatever rice you eat, 80% of it has got calories and it is digested quickly. You are not eating rice uh, raw. You are eating rice after boiling. So it becomes easily digestible. 
and so the blood sugars start rising quickly within one hour. It's okay, fine, let the blood sugar rise for one hour or two hours, let it be, but it is not harmful. Please don't think that rice is bad. Uh, once you boil, whether you are eating uh, low calorie rice or uh, normal rice made uh, available in the market, it's the same. You get the same sort of blood glucose levels after uh, you eat it. That's one thing. Then uh, a lot of uh, uh, material, scientific material that has been uh, published recently against rice. People published from United States, people published from Germany, people published from France. These are all the countries where people do not eat rice, they eat wheat or some other product. And if those people are given rice and uh, uh, you publish a paper based on eating rice among populations who are not used to eating rice, that is not applicable to Southeast Asia, not applicable to India, not applicable to China, not applicable to Japan. And uh, to be uh, more sure about that uh, scientific literature, about 30 years back, we didn't have so much of diabetes because we were all eating rice. Uh, India didn't have so much of diabetes. China didn't have diabetes. Japan didn't have diabetes. We were all eating rice. Entire Southeast Asia, diabetes was a rare disease. Diabetes is more common in Western population in those days. But today, because our food habits have changed and we are eating a lot of non-rice products or at least the cereals which are not uh, used to be taken by us, something like oats. Suppose if you are taking oats, we are not oat eating population. Suppose if you are eating oats, you are more prone for developing diabetes because your body will absorb uh, sugar in a different way, not like rice. It cannot, uh, it cannot adapt itself. For one or two generations, it will take time for us to adapt to oats or quinoa rice. Quinoa rice costs about 2000 rupees per kilogram. And now people are buying quinoa rice in India and trying to eat quinoa. Quinoa is a little similar to Thaidulu or Koralu of, uh, of South India. So if you are used to eating Koralu, you better eat Koralu, don't buy quinoa rice. And quinoa is something imported from Bolivia or from South America. So by eating quinoa rice, please be sure that you are increasing your blood sugar and not decreasing your blood sugar. If you eat any cereal, which you are not used to, you are actually harming your body. Your blood sugar will rise. That's very important. Don't ever uh, think that whatever your parents or grandparents have been eating is bad for you. It is good for you. Uh, even if the textbooks write against it, even if the media tells you against that, if the scientific publications they tell against that, please eat whatever your parents and your grandparents have been eating and please eat what you are used to eating in your childhood, that's more important. A diabetic need not change the cereal what you are eating. If you are a rice eating person, please eat rice, rice eating person. Please continue to be a rice eating person. So don't ever blame rice which has been a staple diet, which has uh, given us uh, life for several generations in our parts of the country. Today we had a few uh, real things about diabetes. Uh, it's important that you should know more about diabetes, the real things about diabetes and uh, don't be uh, carried away with a lot of misconceptions and misbeliefs. Uh, I hope you, uh, I made myself clear to you. Next time we'll have a different topic with uh, different uh, ideas.